The candidates will address an audience of uncommitted voters. It will be a more personal setting than the first debate. And body language expert Patty Wood told me the president has shown he can play off an audience's energy. And he actually has the ability historically to set that energy in motion and be the cook or the chef and say, this is what it's going to be like. I'm, I'm looking to see if he can do that. And she says this time President Obama should look at Mr. Romney when the former governor is speaking. He can make faces if he wants to. He can go put like this. He can roll his eyes if he wants to to say, I can't believe you're saying that. I would prefer that than his disengagement as last time as if it wasn't worth his time. While Mr. Romney won points last time for his energy and command, Ms. Wood says the Republican should avoid being seen as too aggressive in the second round. He, in that last debate, was using a lot of sweeping, powerful gestures that were symbolic weapons. He's going to have to pull that back in a little bit. Now, since the president and Mr. Romney won't be tied to a podium or table, body language could play an even more important role in this debate as the candidates interact with the audience and each other. Russ. Well, we certainly will be watching for that. Paul, thanks.